And let's reset things in the lineup. This is round of 16, heat four, a battle of the Goofy Footers. Miguel Pupo versus Nat Young, Brazil versus USA. Chris Cote here with Kaipo Guerrero, very excited. The bottom half of the bracket. So there is a potential right now as we look at those brackets for Italo for a Felipe Toledo final here. Uh, at the Oi Rio Pro as we just see a, a throwaway. A friendly oh, fire yeah. final. He said this feels like a real major league sport and he says that is a, another kind of motivational force behind him when he hears those big cheers. Yeah, so I mean we talk about the fans, we talk about this set, setup as we see this replay on the screen and I reference Maracanã. You know, I'm really appreciative of all the Brazilian surf fans. 100%. Kind of an... Uh, Let's say an underrated virtue of these big events the WSL puts on is it's free. Come down, find your spot in the sand. No other sport like it as Miguel Pupo now gives the crowd something to cheer about. A little fist pump there. And that's the, uh, the perfect picture of the joy that these fans get out of watching this sport. The highest being a 2A3, but let's take a look at Miguel's first wave. Here we go. Paced approach right here. Throws the tail, little slide there. Glides through that and makes it sure that he can get a finish. Little just white water bank, but the exclamation mark that Miguel Pupo is able to put on that. Timing it through the backwash, timing it through the warble. Taking a look from above, gaffing that first turn with a little bit of release. Glides through that second turn some variety, but has to skip that section so he can get the finish. Uh, Really impressive surfing and appropriate surfing for what this wave had on offer. Pretty cool combo right there. It was almost like attack, react, and finish. And he did all three of those nicely. A great combination for Miguel Pupo. Uh, one thing he's always been is tenacious. Definitely surfs with a lot of power. And when this Cobra coils and strikes, big things happen. And that right there potentially a big score and that was one of those long falls that you can just see the surfers will broken now that first score came through from Miguel Pupo a 7.33 slash here needs to finish this wave he wants to get back into the game a little bit of backwash you can see it right there bounces him off tries to make the save unable to make the save one more time from above you can see good intent on this first slash bring it all the way back around needs this finish and comes off center on his heels. The backwash gets him as well, so he's gonna have to go back to the drawing board. Nat Young, still plenty of time, however, on the clock for his comeback. For surfers like Nat Young, Jake Marshall, you know, uh, young Americans traveling around the world, they've been on a, a pretty heavy leg of travel. You know, Australia, they're, they're still right in the thick of a long travel leg, so for them, you know, it's gonna take a little bit extra to kind of tap into that feeling and uh, refresh themselves before these heat. As uh, Miguel Pupo right now, you can kind of see the, the difference in the comfort level. I feel that uh, every wave he's stood up on, you can just see kind of the, the smoothness, no, no, no jitters, no nerves. He's gonna put himself in a good spot to take this heat. Replay of Pupo right here. Just quick to get a turn, tapered wall, gets another snap there. You can see a little bit of the undulation of the water and the warble coming through the backwash. Workman-like approach here, needs to back up that 7.33, does so. We're looking at a 3.97 on this effort for Miguel Pupo. I like the fact after his couple of turns, he finishes off looking for the Red Bull jet ski, being very efficient in this heat. Again, nothing super fancy, but getting the job done looking confident and squared up over his board as you see with that snap and just has to settle for a little cut back over here no problem for Miguel Pupo and at this point he, the ride's pretty much over and he's already looking to get that taxi ride back out and uh, into the lineup for one more opportunity uh, it's been you know the theme of this leg of the tour here we go on that young all right looking a more a uh, little more energetic on this wave big slash out the back follows it up with the second turn. So that'll, that'll most likely improve on a 367 and a 283. Think of his backhand as his best weapon. So we'll see if he can react and like you said, Kaipo, adapt to these ever-changing conditions. Yeah, this is, this is better as we look at this replay. A couple of turns for Nat Young and uh, gets this section here. Smooth bomb turn actually skips out just a little bit as we look at to analyze that you get a little bit of the release off the top And it has to really draw out 
a roundhouse cut back because that wave just tapered off. But he did do a score of a 4.67 live action here with Miguel Pupo. Nice, precise opening snap, goes to the layback. I would say that is Miguel Pupo's signature move right there. Expertly times that oncoming section. Now doing the Sakurima stomp towards the beach. Yeah. Does not make the connection, but finds himself in the taxi line. This would be a 10 minute paddle back out if he had to make it every single time. Really reliable surfing as we look at this replay of Miguel Pupo and a really dynamic finish with that layback slash. One more time, long bottom turn, great rail work, pulls it all the way through on the heels, lines up, has to do a double pump on the bottom turn, slashes, throws the fins, gets a little bit of that release for extra flare, comes out. He had some replicas made for friends and families as a cool gift to thank them for supporting. Is Nat Young now, attack mode. Seeing a little bit more urgency now. And I think for uh, Nat Young who, you know, again, he is a, a sportsman. He's been watching all major sports since he was a, a little kid. Uh, so he's gotta be thriving on the pressure. I think that's uh, his sweet spot. Looks like his best effort so far, Nat Young. Nice snap there, a little bit of release. Works his way down the line, lip glide with a little punch at the end. So dynamic, down the line, surfing on the left, uh, covering a lot of ground, throwing a lot of spray. Again, the snap right here pushes a little extra. You see the fin just skips out the back, no problem, gets on his toes, has to do a couple pumps on the bottom turn to get around that section, times it, glides through that second turn and gets the completion. But Nat Young has got some work to do. You want to talk exciting and interesting coastlines. This region of Brazil is holding. There's a peak every 20 feet. And right now, Miguel Pupo is really enjoying his time at home as he is dropping scores of note on every wave he rides. His last one was a 327. And you want to talk style, you want to talk flow and subtle power. We've seen some wild cards doing damage in this event, Kaipo. What do you think Tudela's chances are against Toledo? Hi. Yeah, I think so far Miguel Pupo has just had better options. Matt Young really hasn't had that one big section that has allowed him to unleash. As you see Miguel Pupo activating his backhand. Nice turn there to finish. Throwing tons of spray in the air. This is kind of a scalpel versus sledgehammer. And he's able to lean into it. You know, I think that could be a big difference maker here. He just hasn't had that clean face to work with like we've seen from Miguel Pupo. Replay here, uh, Miggy taking it to the backhand and uh, doing a great job. I don't know if that's gonna help his overall scoreline, but just staying busy. You can see how he goes 12 o'clock there, gets the board way above his head on that first backhand re entry, a little extended on that second turn. I had to extend that a little bit because the wave did flatten out, then it steepens up on the inside, release, pressure on the front foot, keeps the pressure on the toes. He's not gonna be able to do it with two waves at this point with the three minutes and 25 seconds. He's gonna go on this one, Chris. Opportunity's knocking. And Nat Young says, go away. No solicitors. 3.15 to go, he needs to get back out there. Nat Young, big start there, generating speed. He goes upside down into a layback. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Looked a little uh, frustrated midway through that turn. Right when the buzzer bell rang, Nat Young had an uphill battle. He fought hard, a couple decent scores, a 4.67 and a 5.27. Just didn't get the opportunity for that one big Nat Young moment. Uh, looking back at this heat, you, you, you really got to look back to that initial exchange. In round of 16, heat four, it's going to be Miguel Pupo with a convincing victory, a 7.67 and a 7.33 for a 15-point total. One step closer to a potential brother-versus-brother semifinal, but a lot of surfing before that happens.